Today's lesson is going to be for this really cute ballerina purse. If you can make it in any size you like, I do show you how to increase the size and you could turn it into a bag. You can make the straps as long or as short as you like. I think it would look really adorable with a flower or a little bow stitch onto the top there. This can also be made into a princess bag or purse. I'll show you in the video how to do that. We just extend the length of the skirt. So let's get started on the video. I would class this as an easy project as we only use basic stitches and you will also learn how to increase. For today's project you are going to need some colour yarn of your choice. This is my second colour and then this is the main colour so you can choose whatever colour you like of course. I'm using a G size hook or a 4mm and 8 ply or double knit or I think it's light worsted weight yarn. You also need a pair of scissors and a sewing needle. We are going to chain 3 and we are going to work 11 half double crochets into this first chain space. So what we need to do is wrap our hook going into the first chain yarning over pulling up a loop you've got three on your hook yarning over and pulling through all three. We're going to be working 11 stitches because our first chain two counts as our first stitch. So all together we're going to have 12 stitches into this first chain. And if you find they're not fitting in, grab hold of this piece and then grab hold of your stitches and just pull them around to squash them up. So let's see how many we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now how I count the stitches, the easiest way is to count these little tiny loops on the top here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that one there is our 12 because it's our chain. And we're going to slip stitch into the beginning chain 2. So we're just going into there and then slip stitching to join. Then we're going to chain 2. And what we need to do now is we want to put two stitches in every stitch around. So into this same stitch into there we're going to work a half double crochet because it's working two stitches into the same stitch. And each stitch around we need to work two stitches and to make sure we've got the 12 so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, you've got to make sure you do two in every stitch. So that's into the next stitch. We're going under both loops and working two half double crochets in every stitch around. So at the end we should have 24 stitches. So continue on until you have your 24 stitches. Remembering that your chain 2 counts as your first stitch. 
So when we get to the end, we're going to slip stitch to join into this chain two. And with this one, you want to work as many rounds as the size that you want the bottom of your project that you're making. So we're going to chain two. And we're going to put one half double crochet into the next stitch. So this is our first stitch because that's where our chain three is coming out of. And this is our next stitch. So going under both loops, working your half double crochet. We're going to work one, uh, two stitches in the next stitch. Because you've got one by itself and then an increase. So we need another one by itself. And then increase, which is two stitches into the same stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So it's one in one, two in the next. One in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. One in the next. And two in oops two in the next. We're going to repeat that all the way around till we come to the beginning of our row. When we get to the end, this is actually this little space here is actually this stitch here, because it's a chain it looks funny. It doesn't look as the same as what it would on a normal stitch, so I don't actually go into that one. We always end on an increase two in each stitch. So we're going to slip stitch into the chain two, which is the second chain of the chain two, pulling through your yarn. Now this is about two inches wide. So keep going until you have yours big enough that what size you want the base of your project. If you want to increase in more rounds, you chain up two. And then you would do, I'll just show you, so we chain up two in the next stitch we would work one stitch by itself so you've got two stitches but they're in each stitch by themselves so one two by themselves and then an increase so that's two in the same stitch the next one you would do one by itself one by itself and then an increase so the way I do that when I'm counting in my head I say one two so it's one in each stitch increase one two so the two are by themselves there this is in one stitch that one's in the next one and then two so I'm going one two increase one two increase one two increase and go around if you wanted another row it would be one two three by themselves and then an increase and then one two three and then an increase so just go until you've got it wide enough this is as wide as what I need mine so let's go back to where we were now we're going to work one half double crochet but we're going to work into the back loops only so we're going to chain up two wrap your yarn and we're going into the back loop. So when you look at your stitching, you've got the V's. If you turn it that way, you've got the V. And normally you would go under the two loops. So you would have can't get them apart now. You would have two loops on your hook. So what we're going to do is when you look at it from the top, we're going into the back loop only, which is here. See that loop there? And that's the front loop there. No idea what that noise was. So we're going to yarn over, go into the back loop only, and then work your stitch as normal. Yarning over, going into the back loop only, and working it as normal. So you just go between the two 
stitches and then hook on to the back one. You want to repeat this all the way around until we get to the beginning. I'm actually going to just leave this running because if I have too many video clips I can only combine 21. If I have too many I can't make the video all in one. And I've got to do it part one, part two, etc. So let's just work around. So what you're doing by going into the back loops only, you're creating this ridge here. See this little ridge that's working away around? What it's going to do is when it's sitting flat, it's going to make the stitches stand up like so. Which just helps it create a nice distinctive base on it rather than it just curving up ways. It's actually going to sit up pretty straight. How long have you guys been crocheting for? Myself, I think I'm nearly coming up to 10 years, which I cannot believe. Oops. What's your favourite item to make as well? I don't really have a favourite item to make. I like making quick projects that don't take very long at all. I don't think I could ever make a blanket or an afghan. Like a full sized one that is. I think it would drive me nuts. I like quick little items. Beanie scarves, baby items. Okay, so we've only got a couple of stitches left. Pause the video if you need to. Until we come up to our last stitch. So now our last stitch, it's already got a stitch. Well, I've already done my last stitch there. So that's worked with the chain two. So we're just slipping into the top of the chain two, which is the second chain of the chain. So if it ever says into the top of the chain three, what that means is you're going into the third chain with your slip stitch. We're just trying to confuse you. So here we go. Have a look at this. See how that's sitting up nice and straight. It's might need to flatten it down a bit and push it up. And as you go along it's going to have a nice firm base. It's what we need. Now you, you could insert some cardboard or some stiff plastic if you'd like to to keep it even more firmer completely up to you so now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that last row but we're going to go through both loops but well, you could go through the back loops if you wanted to won't make any difference we're going to do one stitch in every stitch around joining and then doing our chain two and here's one I prepared earlier I love saying that how they do on the cooking shows so you're going to make it this is about, where's my tape measure, it's not handy, so we've got about a two inch base, of course you can make your base as big as you like, I'm just going to make really small ones, so as you can see it's not very big at all, so keep going until it's long enough and the height, you wonder why I'm doing this with my thumb, my mum always said that that's supposed to be an inch, I don't know if it's true but that's probably about two inches as well. So it's probably about the same height than it is round. So it doesn't matter. You can do it whatever size you like. You could do a really big one if you like. That'd look really cute too. So what we're going to do is put a row of our contrast colour around the top. So I've just got my hook through one of the stitches. And I'm just going to loop it over the top and then pull through 
and then drop the short piece at the back do a chain stitch you know what, what you could do is where you finished off here I'm going to just go about I don't know, 8 stitches to the side of it and join it so that when I come around to the cream part I can actually sew in or crochet over my end as I go So we put the short piece at the back and then we just hook it over, do a chain. So I'm going to work over my pink end as I go. So we're going to chain up two. I mean you could work a single crochet if you like as well. Actually you might do that. So if you're doing half double it's two chains, if you're doing single it's a one. So go into the next stitch and we're just going to work one single crochet all the way around. And this is just the top of the, what would you call it, the top part of your ballet outfit. Is it a tutu? It'll be the lycra part, the stretchy part. So this is the bodice part of the Of the ballerina bag. I think this might be classed as a purse, this one, because it's so small. And of course, you can make it any size you like. Please share photos if you make one. You can either email them to me in the email in the description box below the video, or you can share them on our Facebook page. We do have a Ravelry page as well that we've just started. So I'm just working all the way around and then when we get around to the end, which I'm nearly at, I am just going to join to that beginning chain stitch. So I'm just going to cut that off as well later. So going into that first stitch there and then just doing a slip stitch. Then I'm going to cut my yarn and then finish it off. So what you do when I finish it off is I just do a chain at the end and then just pull out. I haven't got my scissors sitting here so you just cut your yarn and just pull this loop out and that will finish it off for you. And then we just want to sew in our ends. Now remember where we have the unworked loops on this row here we've got these unworked loops here so these are the front loops because remember how we work just into the back loops we're going to put a frill on this so what we're going to do and it might be a little bit tricky so we're going to join our yarn so we're just grabbing our yarn and of course use any colour you like this is just what I've got as scraps so I'm just going to join it into there. What we're going to do is we're going to work a chain three. And then in each of these vacant loops that we've got around here, we're going to work three double crochet so we're yarning over going into the same loop and then working our double crochet and it might pay just if you can just to hold onto the loop so that it doesn't stretch right out you don't want to pull too tight on that so finding your next unworked loop go into there work your three double crochets oh, my yarn is all knotted up so we're just working in all the vacant loops around working three double crochets until we get to the end you could also use uh, the half double crochet or a longer stitch if you like 
which I think is called the treble. So you could choose that if you like. This part's up to you, of course. And just keep going until you um, get right around, and we'll join up to here. I'm finding it easy if I squash two bits together so that the loops are sort of at the top like that and I find it's easier to get the hook into. That might help you guys get the loops easier. Oh my god how cute is this looking already? So we've just finished off and what I did was I just slip stitched to show you. Finish off my round got excited and just joined it. Going to the third chain, so one, two and three, count up to three, go into the chain and then just do your slip stitch. And then you can do your chain and then cut your yarn off and pull it out. And another idea, which I was just thinking as I was making this, this oh god this is so cute. Makes me want to have one in my size. Um, yes, sorry getting sidetracked. You could make this dress longer and you've got a princess bag. How cool is that? So what you would do, so now you've added your ruffle so you're going to have a nice full skirt if it's for princess dress and in the next rounds and until it's long enough for the dress you would just put one double crochet in each stitch around and you could even add one random or two random rows of single crochet, change the colour for a stripy version skirt, that might look cute as well. So yeah, so you can even make a ballerina, if they don't like ballet, I think they would definitely like princesses. So please send me a photo if you make the princess one, because I'm only going to make the ballerina one, because I think that's really cute. So now our ballerina bag needs straps, doesn't it? So I'm just going to break off my yarn, sew in all my ends, and then we can get started on the straps. So the handles can probably be done a number of ways. If you have made a really big one, you might want to use the I-cord as your straps, because that's going to be a lot firmer. I will put a link in for the I-cord. But I'm just going to use chains for mine, because I think that it's not very big as you can see, so I don't think I need very big straps. So finding oop, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Knock it off the tripod. So I'm just going to how are we gonna do this? I might make the chains first because we're gonna have to join them, but we're gonna because I'm using cream, I'm gonna have to join it on the inside so that it doesn't stick out here because when you look at a ballerina outfit the straps come from the inside of the thing don't they they don't stick out and look funny with a join so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a chain Let's put this aside you're going to make a chain as long as you want the straps basically you could use two colors together I'm just going to use the one You could embellish these with little flowers, I think they'll look really cute. So I'm just chaining, I'm not even really counting what I'm doing. Just going for it. And then I'm just going to grab my bag. I'm just going to adjust this camera up a bit. So and then you just want to judge how long you want your straps. So this might even be too big. Because you're going to want to be able to get their hands through the straps. So that's It looks out of proportion, but as a bag handle it's probably perfect. So what you're going to do, you're going to make two chains exactly the same length. And then we're going to sew them on. So I've just threaded a needle for my straps. Probably sort of fold it like there and then just decide where you want to put the strap. So I'm going on the inside of my work. 
and I'm just picking up some stitches and then I'm just going to sew this on. Oops. It's nothing fancy, I'm just sewing through the stitches. And then I'm going to go back through that loop to make a knot. Just do that once or twice, just so it secures it off. And then just sew through a few stitches. Snip it off. That, yeah, that looks better, I think, doesn't it, coming out from the back like so. And then we're just going to sew at the back and then repeat for the other side. There we go. This is what we should have in the end. Isn't this just the cutest little purse ever? So you guys can make this in any size you like. Please share photos on our Facebook and our Ravelry page. If not, email them to me in the, email in the description box below the video. Don't forget to subscribe as there will be plenty more uh, tutorials coming up. I do try to get one a week, so plenty more to come. And until next time, happy crochet!